camera hurt. This is the LG 49 inch ultra wide display. Yes, we've been doing a lot of fun display stuff recently. Oh my gosh, is it like almost as tall as me? This is crazy. I am five, six on a good day for reference. Shout out to Clean My Mac for sponsoring this video. So this is a QHD. D 5120 by 1440 display and shout out to my 32 inch ultra wide moment of silence for that thing it uh got destroyed in the move okay mm, let's just try that i mean good Lord, look at that thing. Look at it. I cannot wait to have my premiere timelines back on an ultra wide. You guys thought that LG 32 UL950 was impressive. Well, look at this. Well, look at this. I've watched videos on this. I've seen this at CES. It is so much bigger in real life. I honestly don't know if this is gonna fit on my desk. I don't want to break another ultra wide monitor. Okay. Here's the thing. We have the main gear PC. We have the Lacy RAID hard drive. We have the peripherals. Peripheral. I don't know if any of this is going to fit on here. I mean, obviously the keyboard and mouse, but I might have to move my main gear off the desk, which would be a shame because it's so beautiful. Um, is that like a bronze and not a silver? Cause that's not gonna do. Can we uh, get a close up on this real quick? So that's kind of a bronzy, rose goldy finish there, which, you know, I'm a silver gal. Is that the same color as this? Oh, interesting. I mean, it definitely looks fancier, which I guess is a plus. Okay, so you have to actually screw this in. Here we go. Okay, good, so there's actually some. This is definitely quality content, yeah. Very entertaining. Look at that. Look how much the stand takes up. Oy vey. Nice. We're definitely gonna have to move my uh, PC off the desk. Let's just see what it looks like. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy, this is so heavy. Hey. Hey. Guys, I might be able to leave it. I need to go to the gym. There's no way, there's no way. I'm never gonna go home. I'm just gonna sit here and stare at this thing all day. I'm here in Texas to bring you today's sponsor, Clean My Mac X. Now I'm here at my grandparents' home, so I wanna introduce you to someone near and dear to my heart, Mima. She has a iPhone, an iPad, and an iMac. She's the hippest grandma around. Mima, but you're having some issues oh, with your iMac. Yes. <laughs> but how long have you had said iMac? Oh, it's about three or four years old, I guess. Okay. So there's probably some junk on it. Yeah, there's junk on it. She but clicks on everything. <laughs> <laughs> After we got Mima on an updated machine, we installed Clean My Mac. It will make your Mac as good as new, and boy, does she need that. The UI is clean and easy to use, even while your grandma can use it. A single smart scan can find and delete unneeded files, zap any malware found, and clear cache to make sure your Mac is as zippy as when you first bought it. The mail attachments cleanup helped with Mima, and even I gave it a go on my MacBook. My favorite feature was the storage map. It's a visual way to identify where your biggest files are. Also included is this helpful status bar app. You can clear your RAM with a click of a button. We did it! Me and Ma, you can go forth and conquer and download all of the emails, sign up for all of the newsletters, and you have a clean Mac now. Oh, yay! <laughs> and if this computer can survive, Yours can too. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure to download a free trial if you need a clean Mac. Description below. Yeah. It was fun hanging out. Yeah, you bet. Final stickers. Ooh. Ooh. 
how does this guy look? It's $13.99, so it's pretty pricey. But later, I'm gonna kinda talk about it in respect to the Samsung and the Dell Ultra Wide that just came out, the 49 inch versions. But before we hop into it, let's talk about the tech specs a little bit. The LG 49 WL95C, oh, say that five times fast, is a 49 inch 60 hertz IPS ultra wide monitor with a 99% sRGB color gamut. It is HDR10 compatible, but currently there's no listings yet as to what level of certification it achieved. The monitor boasts a pair of 10 watt stereo speakers that sound fantastic and plenty of I.O., including a USB-C Thunderbolt 3, which carries 85 watts of power delivery. There's also no brick on the power cable, which is nice and very clean. It's an IPS panel, which helps maintain wide viewing angles, and there's an anti-glare matte coating. The response time seems pretty quick and is sufficient for casual gaming. For games that support it, this aspect ratio makes it very easy to just get lost in a game. And I never claimed to be good at gaming, okay? Hit me back up when Halo comes out on Steam. The monitor is 25 pounds without the base and wobbles on the stand that's included when doing anything more intense than casual typing. Luckily, it supports the vase mount standards, so I'll be looking into a proper desk slash maybe wall mount to free up some space below. I don't have any scientific way of proving that this looks better than my old 34UC98. The vertical resolution of 1440, well, is exactly the same, but it just looks better to my eye, a little brighter and more on par with the colors you will usually get from Apple computers. Just fired on the main gear PC and it looks like it's uh, getting stretched a little bit. I wonder what the initial setup will be like. <laughs> Don't look at my password. Don't stop. Don't look at my password. God. There we go. So you have to use the display port if you want the full 5K. The problem was with my other ultra wide, I was using the HDMI cable. Okay, initial thoughts. Wow. The first thing that I'm gonna do is go to my friend's video about New York. This display, unlike the Dell, has some beefy speakers built in, so we'll test out that too. Look how far over I'm like, I'm I'm trying to hit the 1080. Make sure it's in 1080. I'm like, hey over there, how are you? Yeah, can we get this in 1080? What a wild world we live in. Been a little while since I heard your pals. Oh, Speaker is sound great. That's me. I'm gonna move the rugged ray drive to another desk. Cause when transferring over to this, it's super quick via Thunderbolt 3. Don't have Thunderbolt 3 on the main gear. So I'm using my Dell XPS to transfer over to here most of the time. So we can move it to another desk, make this a little bit more of a clean setup. Oh my gosh, look how messy it is over here, guys. And this is what we call tomorrow's problem. Look, the speakers fit perfectly. Does Peachy Fam approve? This is where I make all the magic happen. So you have the Elgato key light if I need to live stream, if I need to film on my desk. That's the one good thing about having an ultra wide with live streaming. You can have multiple windows open, you can have OBS open, have the chat, have questions, have a little script, all the things can be displayed on this one machine. The thing that we're all here for though is to see a beautiful Premiere timeline. Recent video of my Dell XPS, I did a little upgrade to it. So let's just see what that Premiere timeline looks like. Okay, is there like an ultra wide workspace? Does Premiere have that yet? Let's set up the ideal setup here, right? Okay. For you normals out there who maybe have a job, you're probably getting feedback from a boss person. So let's go to like, oh, frame, frame.io. People use that for giving feedback on videos. All right, maybe I'm on video blocks. Maybe I need some assets, you know? Just shout out to all of the sponsors. Oh, well, frame.io isn't sponsoring me yet. Girl at computer. Why would we need B-roll of that when it's like, the great thing about Windows is window management is very easy to handle. So say I want the Premiere timeline over here. I just press Windows, right key, and then I choose what I want over here. So I want my feedback, right? This is feedback from the client, from my editor, whatever it is. I'm gonna move that, wow. Premiere looks great, but I don't think I even need Premiere this big. So my initial thought was, oh, I can just hit Windows over again. No, that just moves things again. And Windows really only wants a maximum of four windows and it being two by two. So I can come here and hit the Windows key and the down arrow, put something up here. I can go over here, hit Windows key down arrow again, and then put something else up here. But this is as far as you can go with Windows 10 snapping, which is kind of disappointing. So if I want, 
three windows side by side. I'm gonna have to manually do that. Windows 10, we need an update, please. So Windows does help you out. You see how it's keeping the window there um, and it automatically snapped to the top and bottom. So it's still gonna be cleaner than if you hooked it up to a Mac, to be honest. And then we're gonna look for my frame.io. We're gonna put it over here. So there we go. Takes a few extra seconds, um, but having that window snapping would be much easier. We are going to build the ideal ultra-wide Premiere workspace. Okay, so this would be the ultimate premiere setup. Look how beautiful. I'm only using, what, two thirds of the screen. We have this section over here for feedback of the video, you know, frame IO. Someone left some notes for me to change my edit so I can look at that. Oh, okay, cool. Come over here, see where it is. Oh yeah. Oh, it's right here. Okay, zoom in. Let's edit that. Let's change that. Oh, that timeline, that timeline. Timeline. Is it not just beautiful? I move my main window to more of the center, so I'm not I'm not over here watching watching the playback. So it makes more sense to have it more in the center. I have my effects controls right here, essential graphics to the right over here. But the main feature is the project window. This is where all your footage is, all of your assets. Look at how beautiful that is. A lot of times people will have an entirely different monitor that's vertical just to have their project window, to have all their footage. See, I color code based on what the frame rates are. And so I can scroll through there, see what I have, preview here. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I can come over to here. This is what we call icon view. Look how beautiful that is. So you know right off the bat the footage that we're already working with. You can set in and out points from here, preview it in the, in the window. But the most exciting part is with the new Premiere release, they have this new window down here called freeform view. I'm gonna click that and this basically makes a new timeline where I can group my clips and essentially make an edit. I can actually extend this window even more to have more room over here. And I can just throw this clip over here. Okay, I'm gonna group that there and I'm gonna just keep scrolling over. I want that there. And you can just basically make a rough edit in your freeform view. So ideally when I'm grouping these things, you know, maybe I'm setting an in and out point. Okay, in out point, I can set an in and out point from this view and then I can just drop it. That's not the full clip, that's just what I selected. Or maybe I already set all of the in and out points for these clips, right? I've grouped them together. And then I say, okay, I want all of that on my timeline now. And look, it just drops all of the clips, a new, a new video that you've edited over, over here in the project window. Wow. Let's see, I think you can just reset it here too. Boom. So I just said reset to name and you already have it. You can just go again. I love this freeform view. I think it's gonna be super helpful for the videos that aren't straightforward. This is becoming a video about Premiere, but this makes me excited. You video editors out there, if productivity is the name of your game, if you need a lot of windows open, if you trade stocks, you're a finance bro, you need an ultra wide. I would probably recommend the 34 inch for starters, what I previously had before I smashed the screen on accident. But this 49 inch, I, I would like to say that it's overkill, but I don't think it's overkill. If you have $1,399 to spend, I would consider this. This desk is 60 inches and the actual platform is 28 inches. If you need to compare what your desk looks like, see if it'll fit, it might look goofy, but hey, you're the one with the ultra wide. If you want a little bit more of a curve, Samsung's curve is tighter. The only thing that stands out with the Dell is the Dell has a built-in KVM where you can control two different desktops with one keyboard and one mouse. So that has a lot of different applications. Maybe you have a Mac and a PC desktop, then you'd be able to control it with the same keyboard and mouse, which is pretty cool. LG has software that you can download to do that. But hey, I would take a hardware solution any day over software. The LG one you can pre-order and apparently it's coming soon. And then Dell ultrawide ships starting April 29th. So a lot of similarities between the LG and Dell. Samsung's the obvious choice for you gamers. And I'm just here to say, ultra wides are here to stay. Let's just, let's just take a step back here so we can take it all in, right? 
Okay, well thank you so much for joining me on this video. Let me know what you think about this monitor, maybe ultra wides as a whole. Hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week. And check out my link in the description for Clean My Mac X. Is your Mac slow? Get it running exactly the way it was when you first got it, you know? Okay, thank you for watching. I've been having fun, this is fun. I love unboxing things and new tech. Okay, stay peachy, okay, bye.